Hello friends, welcome back to Artificial Intelligence class. And in today's class, we will see the foundation of Artificial Intelligence that will come on the first unit. Okay, here we are going to see the prerequisite of the subject Artificial Intelligence. That means, what are the basic knowledge required to learn the subject Artificial Intelligence? The foundation provides the disciplines that contributed ideas, viewpoints and techniques to AI. Okay, here the term discipline means the knowledge about various subjects. Knowledge about various subjects that may be under CSE department or from other department. Okay, so the basic knowledge which requires for learning this artificial intelligence for getting the ideas, viewpoints and techniques. Okay. The list of subjects are philosophy, mathematics, economics, neuroscience, psychology, computer science and engineering, control theory and cybernetics and linguistics. So, these are some of the uh, basic knowledge required for this AI. And now let us see how the philosophy is important to learn artificial intelligence because this is a very basic foundation of AI. Philosophy is nothing but the study of fundamental nature of knowledge. Here the nature of knowledge is nothing but the truth. The truth, okay. The truth or the reality or the existence which is already existed. We cannot change that, okay. That is the truth which are considered for solving a specific problem. Okay, what are the things we need to consider here? The basic knowledge that is the truth, reality and existence. So, those are considered to solve a specific problem is a basic thing in AI. Right? The philosophy defines that, see the philosophy is defines that, how can the formal rules be used to draw valid conclusions? Okay, so by using the formal rules, we have to draw the conclusion. So, how do we uh, define this valid conclusion? For this, we require philosophy. Okay, so without philosophy, it is difficult to answer the following questions. The first question is, how does the mind arise from physical brain? Because we are going to create a new machine that should be alternate to the human being. Hence, we need to understand and analyze the human be, uh, brain from this human brain how the mind arises and the second question is where does the knowledge comes from ok the knowledge is actually stored in brain or some other uh, data source right so where the knowledge is comes from and how does the knowledge leads to action this is important ok for uh, answering these questions philosophy is important. The next one is mathematics and statistics. Here the agent programming, okay. The agent programming required the knowledge about formal logic and probability for planning and learning because the agent programming will do the planning as well as the learning. And next one is computation. Here the computation is very much required for analyzing relation as well as the implementation. Okay, and the knowledge in formal representation are most required for writing actions for agent. Okay, so without formal representation, writing agent programming is highly difficult, right? So, in artificial intelligence, mathematics and statistics are most important for, pro for proving the theorems, writing algorithms, computations, decidability, traceability, modeling uncertainty, learning from data. So, if we want to do all these things, then the math and stat foundation is very, very important. So, by using these subjects, we can answer the following questions. The first one is, what are the formal rules to draw valid conclusion? And the second one is, what can be computed? And third one is, how do we reason with uncertain information. So, these questions are very important to create an agent programming for that the math foundation is very important. The next one is economics. 
Economics knowledge is very important to deal with investing amount of money as well as maximization of utility with minimal investment. Okay, how do we gain more with a very small investment? See for that economic knowledge is most important, right? While developing any AI product, we should make decisions for when to invest, how to invest, how much to invest and where to invest. Okay, answering these questions are very important before starting any of the product. Okay, apart from this economics, uh, the decision theory, game theory, operations research and etc. These uh, subject knowledge should also be very important for before developing any of the product. The next one is neuroscience. This is nothing but the study of nervous system, particularly the human brain. Okay, because we are going to create a new system that should be alternate to the human being. Hence, the study of human brain is important. Uh, human brains are somehow different when compared to other creatures on the earth because man has largest brain in proportion to his size that is the productivity of human nature. Right. Uh, the brain considered largely of nerve cells which is otherwise called as neurons and the observation of individual neurons can lead to thought, action and consciousness of one's brain. Okay. So, these things are very important while developing a new system. Right. So, by using this neuroscience, we can easily answer this question, how do brains process information? This diagram explains the neurons. Here, neuron contains a nucleus and this is surrounded by cell body. Okay. And this dendrite is nothing but the branches of all the cells that is all the neurons and the synapse is used to connect two neurons. Okay. And the information will be transmitted from one neuron to another neuron by using this axon. Okay. Axon is nothing but the branch from the neuron. Okay. See so many neurons will be connected by using this synapse. The next one is psychology or cognitive science. This is the scientific method to study of human vision. Okay, that is how the human will take decisions in complicated situation. That is called as problem solving skill. Okay, how the problem is being solved by the human and how do the people behave in an unexpected situation. Right? And perceive. Perceive means how do they observe the environment to solve a particular problem and process cognitive information and represent knowledge. See from those information uh, he will collect the knowledge. Okay. So, by using this psychology we can easily answer this part, uh, question that is how do humans and animals think and act. See for this psychology is very important. The next one is computer science and engineering. And we know very well the importance of CSE in the field of AI. Okay, when come to computer science and engineering, uh, the logic and inference theory, algorithms, programming languages and system building. Here the system building means software system building are important parts of computer science. We know very well. We have already studied these subjects, isn't it? And uh, in nowadays, the computer hardware gradually changes for solving the AI applications okay, by means of uh, the GPU. GPU means graphics processing unit and TPU that is tensor processing unit and wafer scale engine. These processes are invented to solve very complicated AI problems and the amount of processor utilization that is the computing power used to, to train top machine learning applications okay that is the utilization of machine learning applications of the uh, processor will be doubled in every 100 days that is every 3 months once the utilization of processor will be doubled by the machine learning algorithms and the supercomputers and quantum computers 
are nowadays used to solve very complicated AI problems. Okay, the software side of computer science supplied the operating systems, programming languages, and tools uh, which are needed to write the modern problems of that is modern programs of AI. Uh, here, AI has found many ideas in modern and mainstream computer science, which includes uh, time sharing, interactive interpreters, personal computers with windows and mice, and rapid development environment, the linked list data types, automatic storage management and etc., as well as the key concept of symbolic, functional and declarative and object-oriented programming. Okay, and by using this computer science, we can answer the following question that is, how can we build fast and efficient computer to solve a complicated AI problem? The next one is control theory. Uh, the control theory is very important for the system to analyze, define, debug, and fix error by itself by itself in the system itself will do all those things without any external help the system itself will analyze define debug by itself and it itself will fix its own errors and some of the examples for this control theory are self-controlling machine self-regulating feedback control system and uh, the submarines are also examples of this particular uh, control theory. Okay, next, uh, calculus and matrix algebra and the tools of control theory which provides themselves to the system that are desirable by fixed set of continuous variables which are actually the foundation of artificial intelligence. Because by using control theory, we are going to create a robot that will fix all the errors by itself. Apart from this, the knowledge representation, grammars, computational linguistics are the natural language processing that is NLP, which are also significant to develop AI applications. Okay, and these things are very important for developing uh, the artificial intelligence applications. And the tools for uh, uh, logical inferences and computation which provides the language that is human language the language means here the human language and vision vision is nothing but the computer vision about the environment and the symbolic planning of agent programming okay by using this control theory tools we can develop the artificial intelligent applications so by using control theory we can answer this following question that is how can artifacts operate under their own control the artifacts means the artificial programming or the agent programming the last one is linguistics that is the speech recognition computer should understand the human language that is called as speech recognition which is a technology which enables a machine to understand the spoken language, human spoken language, and translate into machine readable format. And it is a way to talk with computer. Nowadays, maximum uh, AI applications are developed by using these linguistics on the basis of the command. A computer can perform a specific task. For example, okay google okay if we give any of the command over voice then the okay google will understand that will do the corresponding action which includes speech to text and text to speech and by using linguistics we can answer how does language relate to thought okay Up to this, we have seen the foundation of artificial intelligence from first unit. The foundations are the philosophy, mathematics and statistics, economics, neuroscience, psychology, computer science and engineering, control theory and cybernetics and linguistics. And in the next 
next class we will see another important topic from artificial intelligence thank you